everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and in today's video, I have a cheap and easy Dollar Tree meal for you. So let's go check it out and see how it is. Now that Dollar Tree has risen their prices up to $1.25, it's been a little harder for me to go and find meals for all of you, just because it is a lot cheaper to buy some of these items in other stores. However, one of the reasons why I did these meals was because there were a lot of people who don't have access to regular grocery stores, and they have to rely on places like Dollar Tree in order to get some of their groceries. So that's kind of why I continue to keep doing this. I'm trying to find new ideas for you all that are still somewhat cheap and still delicious and maybe still somewhat healthy. The dinner that I made was really easy and you can also find all of these ingredients at your regular grocery store, probably for a little bit cheaper, but I made do with what I had. All I did was buy two bags of a Knorr pasta side and then some tuna and a can of veggies. So I do like the nor pasta sides and the rice sides because you have there's like so many different flavors and they're all really really good. I had Allison with me this day as we were going shopping and she saw those creamy garlic shells and cheese and said I want to try those. And listen when Allison says she wants to try something new I am all over it. And then I looked over at the cans of tuna and chicken and was trying to decide which one I wanted. And I ultimately decided, let's just get some tuna. And then I looked over at the canned vegetables and just decided to get a can of standard mixed veggies just for a little bit of extra nutrition in there. So altogether, I spent $5 on these four ingredients, which equals to about $1.25 per serving if you were feeding four people with it, which is still not too bad at all. And you've got a good rounded meal. You have carbs from the pasta, you have some protein from the tuna, and then you have the veggies from this can of mixed veggies, which had like peas, I think corn, green beans, something like that. And it only took maybe 15 minutes to make. So let's go make it and see how it turned out. So to start off looking at the back of the bag, it says in order to make one package, you need one and a half cups of water, you need a half cup of milk and then butter is optional. So you do need some milk in order to make this. So since I have two bags, I poured in three cups of water and then one cup of milk and I set that to boil. In the meantime, I opened up my cans using my awesome new can opener that I got for Christmas. The manual one was just not working out very well. So. Let the water and milk come to a boil, but don't let it boil over like I almost did. Add both of the bags and then stir it. And then the bag says to just let it simmer for about 11 minutes, stirring occasionally. Now I got a little worried at first because there was a lot of liquid in there and it felt like no matter how much I let it cook, there is just too much liquid. But thankfully it cooks down all the way and makes like a creamy little sauce. So I actually took out some of this for Allison. She wanted to try the shells, but didn't want the tuna and the vegetables in it. So I took out about a cup of the cooked pasta and put that into a bowl for her. But once the pasta was finished, I then added the can of vegetables and then the tuna and just mixed that together. And I let it uh, heat up just for a few extra minutes. And then that was it. Honestly, it was really good. It needed a little bit of extra salt, um, but it had a really nice garlic flavor. So honestly, I might have to buy more of these uh, pasta sides more often. So listen, Allison actually liked those garlic shells. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna have to buy a couple more bags of those for her. Okay, so I was doing some calculations for all of you and what I realized was that this meal right here 
may not be enough for a full dinner. If you divide it into four servings, it is only like a little over 200 something calories. And for me, the average dinner is between like four and 600. So you're gonna have to add a few more things to it if you wanna make it like a full dinner. So if you wanted to add like an extra can of tuna, maybe like a side salad or a side of bread or you know, something like that. It, you just need a little bit more food with it in my opinion. But other than that, I think it turned out really good. And for, you know, buying stuff at Dollar Tree, I don't think it turned out too bad at all. And when you only have access to a store like this, you have to make do with what you have. So if you have seen any new items at your Dollar Tree, please leave a comment and let me know. I have been searching like many different Dollar Tree stores and there's just nothing new yet, but I'm still looking. If you like these videos, let me know down below as well. And as always, make sure you subscribe, like this video and ring that bell so you can see more Dollar Tree videos like this, as well as my grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.